The August patch is rolling out right now for Pixel phones. That's a deal. Well, there's actually a little bit more to it. Let's get into it. For more monthly recaps of what's fixed on your Pixel phones, then hit that subscribe button to join the crew. I'd really love to have you as part of the team. Cheers. Another month, another update with bug fixes for Pixel phones. For August, that list of fixes is not actually that long, and I'll get into that in just a second. There are only three listed fixes for the Pixel 7 through to the 9a. You can get the OTA for the Pixel 6, 6a and 6 Pro, but nothing is resolved on those devices for what it's worth, or at least according to the changelog. Hopefully, though, you are aware of the issues with the Pixel 6a battery and it in some cases being a potential fire risk. Yeah, you heard me correctly. The Pixel 6a's battery can be a fire risk if you don't update to last month's OTA. Now, we don't know for certain if this affects all Pixel 6 series devices, but we do know that Pixel 6a owners, at least in the month since they've updated to the July patch, have seen severely reduced battery since that update where it actually tends to cap the battery at around 80% of the overall capacity. Some are saying around 2,700 milliamp hours, while the software will show you 100% in the top right of that device itself. I've seen people in our comments sections complaining and claiming that this has made their phone practically useless because the battery is so bad and rebate and replacement options aren't that great depending on your region. And we did give you information on that last month with the last Pixel update bulletin. It's, it's an annoying situation all around and I don't want to be the guy to say this and you shouldn't have to do it, but maybe now is the time to get an upgrade if you're able to. I would recommend the Pixel 9a if you're looking for a cheaper phone, but yeah, it's a little bit of a sad situation when you have a phone and we wanted to talk about this in this video as it has been a problem affecting people. Complaints aside, I will say there are genuine reasons why Google has done the Pixel 6a update. It is 100% safety concerns why they've done this and I think it is warranted concerns as well. But now I'm actually kind of wondering in the back of my mind whether the regular 6 and 6 Pro could get updated at some point to sort sort of, I guess, fire blanket protect those devices or fire blanket protect the entire 2021 lineup. I don't think it would be that much of a shock given there are no listed fixes for three these three devices this month, which I would say is pretty out of the ordinary based on what we see with each monthly OTA. Maybe last month they were resolved with their own updates, but usually all phones are targeted with generic software related problems. So I have to say my spider senses are tingling a little bit given the lack of software fixes. And while specifically they all run the same build, plus on top of that, the 6 series is going to be promised another couple of years of updates. So yeah, watch this space. We wanted to actually address this right at the top of this video because it is something that is affecting a very decent amount of you out there. So yeah, definitely keep us informed if you have any issues with your devices down in the comment sections below. So back to the August patch though, because there is bound to be more drama in that 6A situation. I'm almost sure of it. So the most notable should resolve any lingering issues you might have with the dark mode scheduling function. For a lot of you out there, it would not work at all despite being enabled in the settings section. According to the change log, the update change log, it will work as intended if you prefer to have that light mode during the day and a dark mode in the evening or whatever combination of factors that you want. So yeah, if you're a dark mode user or someone who likes to switch between these. I use this personally on my own Pixel phones. It's been working fine for me. So yeah, no problem so far. If you're a heathen though, and you like using the three button navigation method on your phone, and I'm actually questioning your sanity for doing so, there are some fixes for bugs with the buttons and general navigation using this method. I get it though. I know a lot of people out there find it hard to switch away from the old method. I know a lot of older people prefer this option because it's really simple and it's easy, especially if you're not confident with gestures to basically understand how to use a phone. You will have a better time now, hopefully, as the OTA has fixed lots of navigation problems people are having, maybe laggy experiences, the back button not working as it's supposed to, maybe the home button being a bit weird. It should be working better for you now. And as always, there is that generic fix for system stability. It seems to be in every single OTA. I've, I've, I've only had this on my Pixel 9a for a few hours, and i got to say, I honestly can't see any difference in the experience in any way, shape or form. But if you have seen any updates and changes after updating to this OTA, let me know. I know a lot of people get that placebo effect where they think the phone is smoother, but yeah, Pixel phones are smooth right out of the box as is. One thing we need to talk about as well is that where you will see major changes is in the next Android release. So this OTA for August is the last little piece of the puzzle, I guess, of the old guard before we get that massive visual overhaul with Material 3 Expressive. So if you're wondering where that is, we've got another month to wait. The next big Pixel drop is in September. That's going to change almost everything on your phone and at least visually and in some cases operationally as well. 
So in that sense, I probably call the August patch a little bit of a swan song for this old school material U. And this is why I'm talking about it wholesale because it feels like the end of a bit of an era. I'm really excited for those major changes. Android 16 QPR one really does and runs fantastic. But if you hate it, well, you probably won't want to update next month when that arrives, likely after the Pixel 10 series, which is coming in just a few weeks time. And of course, we'll have you covered over here on the channel with Pixel 10 and Android 16 QPR one. But before we shoot off, I want to address another thing, the August Play system update. This has been detailed and it should be available very soon. I'm actually not able to get it on my own phone just yet, but there are some nice fixes here, which personally, I think this is part and parcel of the update for Pixel. So it would be remiss of me not to mention it. The fixes in this update include improved signing and onboarding process for Android Automotive, which probably means about me and 50 of you out there watching as Android Auto, I think genuinely smokes automotive across the board. Remote lock will also now add an optional security question for added protection with that method. I really like this and I think it will be very, very popular for lots of you who do prefer using remote lock over other options. And the play system update has a couple of fixes for your phone experience or how you experience your phone. One is merely how play services manages its own performance and utilities, but there is also the ability to use autofill with the Google shortcut on Gboard and fill passwords and payment information, all that kind of jazz in much more places. I haven't seen it yet, but it should be faster and your phone should recognize where to access this option a lot more often, at least according to what we can gather from the change log. And with the wallet app, you should be soon able to access multifamily residential, I think it's called in the change log, whatever the hell that is within the application. I have no clue what this means. Maybe family cards accessible to all family group members if you have one of those set up. If you can work it out, tell me down in the comment sections below. I'm really intrigued whatever the heck Google was referring to in the change log, I don't understand it. And if you're in Brazil and you use PIX, I'm assuming that's a bank or a credit union in the region, you get a tone and vibration app to tap to pay transaction completes. Another nice little addition for those of you who use that particular bank or that particular whatever the heck it is in Brazil as well. A couple of more things before we wrap up though, the August play update has a few things like Quest being able to give you points if you're into that kind of thing and AI summaries for specific listings with the ability to see frequently asked questions should now be more widely available after updating the Play Store. You just go to settings, go to the about section and you should be able to update that. It isn't rolling out that widely right now, but it will be over the next couple of days once you have this update on your phone. So that runs out practically everything with the August patch and the Play service updates. I definitely think they're intrinsically linked. So in future, I'm gonna try and give you a full load on, on both much more regularly in these monthly updates. As I say, this is that last normal update before we get material through Expressive. So I would say it's a little bit, this is like the calm before the storm, so to speak. So it's, it's almost like that penultimate release before we get the big release. So apologies if this was a little bit dry, a little bit long-winded. I just wanted to make sure you're aware of everything going into Pixel 10 series because it's all downhill from here. Be sure to tell me if you've seen any performance gains or bugs appear on your devices even especially if you're using a Pixel 6 series phone. I know a lot of things have not been mentioned here. There's a lot of problems with the Pixel 6a, but we want to see what's happening with 6 and 6 Pro because I know Google has squashed a lot of bugs across the board, but I expect a lot more to appear when the next update is released in the next month or so. After all, that's, that's the August patch. That's what you need to know. That's hopefully everything you're going to see. And yeah, stay tuned for more. Cheers for watching and I'll speak to you later.